Hey girlfriend, welcome back. My name is Kobe. If you're new here, thanks for joining me for another video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not makeup, it's not a vlog, but we're doing a fashion haul. So a few weeks ago, I bought all of these clothes from Shein and it's like my go-to one-stop shop for some quick clothes when I need them. And so I wanted to show you guys how I style them and put them together. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and stop what you're doing before we even get into the shablam and do that. Okay, we're following? Okay, bet. So if you wanna see how I styled these looks, then just keep on watching. solid mock neck tank like bodysuit this is a bodysuit it clamps in the front the on or in the bottom the only thing i don't like about this is that it is not a thong in the back it's more um like granny panties i guess but this is a straight up dupe for the skims bodysuit i think i only paid 15 dollars because it's on sale but this is what it looks like i wear this to dinner, I'd wear it to brunch, I'd wear it to like a sporting event. I've got some jewelry on, some high-waisted, like the new boyfriend jean style that's going on. Um, have these on and then just some slide on heels. I got this in a size small. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I don't have on a bra and it's holding my girls up nice and good, which is what we like. It's in like the nude tan color it's like that mock turtleneck and i really like that as well so yeah this was 15 dollars okay so next is this black scoop neck romper that i'm probably never gonna wear i paired it with a jacket and i have on some yeezys because it's just like isn't my jam um if it was a little thicker if the material was a little thicker i'd wear it um, I'm not a big fan of scoop necks. I honestly thought it was ribbed when I bought it, like when I ordered it. I got it in a size medium. Um, and this is what it looks like in the back and then in the front. I just don't like how it like ripples in the front and then all of the different lines that it makes. Like it's just not my favorite, but you can wear this to run errands. Like this would be like a cute mall outfit. I don't go to the mall, so I don't know what the kids are wearing these days, but like a cute mall outfit or even just like, like I said, running errands, maybe put on a um, checkered button down or something like that. So yeah, this is the black scoop neck robber. And it was $13. Okay, so then we have this white pleated tennis skirt. And yes, I did buy it to wear, to go golfing in, but clearly you can tell that it's a little short. <laughs> it's very short and um i just paired it with a black tank and these are the shoes that i wear golfing i don't have real golf shoes because i ain't that good um but this is definitely something i'd wear sporty it has um white shorts underneath i think they should have either been black or like a nude color um so that it wouldn't stick out so much under the skirt but yeah this is that i got it in a medium and it was eight dollars so the last two this and the romper were definitely misses but like if you just need something to throw on i'm guessing to like run an errand run down the street whatever what have you throw this on throw the romper on i wouldn't wear this out this is like something i'd wear to like dance when i was in middle school we used to wear like cute dance clothes to practice i'd wear something like this but if it was a little longer then i'd wear it even to play tennis i cannot go play tennis in this no it's giving me like dance team vibes and i can't with my half my butt being out <laughs> okay this is one of my favorite finds i got it in a large it's definitely giving me like airport vibes um early morning breakfast even go to lunch like this is vacation you don't want to feel like confined but maybe you ate a lot the night before you drank a lot the night before and you just want to feel like comfortable and cute but not restricted so like i said i got it in a large left it open at the top for a little you know something something and then i just tucked it in right here 
and then the shorts tie up. I paired it with my Tory Burch flip flops or sandals. And yeah, I would just, I may put on a hat, like a straw hat, or you know, some big sunglasses <laughs> to block the hangover from the night before. But yeah, so this is the drop shoulder um, set. It's in, I wanna say it's in the blush color. I think they have it in three other colors, but I got the top and the bottom in a large and all together it was $19. So it's like a, it's not linen material, but it kind of mimics that. And it's, so it's not heavy. It's not like a thick confined material, but it's also like not super duper light. So it's a good, a good mix between. So I could wear it right now. Um, and it's, you know, scorching hot in Texas, or maybe I'm at the beach and it's nighttime and it's a little, it's getting a little cool. I could put a blue jean jacket. Actually, you know what? I have a blue jean jacket. I'll show you. Wait a minute. Right? If you just need to get from A to B really quick, just like throw on a blue jean jacket. It goes with the vibes and you're good to go. Roll the sleeves up, keep it unbuttoned. Oversized if you have one. This is my mom's from the early 90s. So if it's nice and loose. Okay, so now we're on to shorts. I have a huge problem finding shorts and jeans. I only like to buy my clothes online and so that also isn't the best, but it's because I have a, um, I have wide hips and a big butt and I have a little smaller waist. <laughs> um, it's harder for me to find jeans that fit. So a pro tip from me, from me to you, I buy all of my jeans and shorts a size too big, and then I take them to the tailor and I get my tailor and my seamstress, whoever it is, to um, fit them to my body shape so that I feel the most comfortable. But luckily, these denim rolled um, button fly jean shorts, I didn't have to do that. I got them in a large, which is an 810 for Shein, um, and they fit really good. They don't make my butt look the best, but. <laughs> I would wear these. So like this is something that I would wear to, and I paired it with my Tory Burch sandals again, but like I'd wear this to like a fair, running errands, and I don't wanna be in sweats. Maybe we're going to lunch. Maybe we're going to get something, you know, just quick to eat. Like I'd throw this on. You can also dress it up, put on some heels, put on some more jewelry, maybe even some hoops. You know what they say about the bigger the hoop, but <laughs> maybe some hoops and like a um like a bomber jacket or even do a canadian tuxedo and put a denim jacket on something cute like that so it's definitely an outfit that you can dress up and dress down i'm just currently having it dressed down for a more casual look okay so this is by far my favorite piece from all of the things that i purchased this is the button down baby doll dress it was 22 dollars. it's in the gray color it is so cute you can definitely dress this up and or dress it down i have it currently dressed up i have on these plexiglass see-through um pointed toe heels i wear like my ysl lulu bag with it i have on you know some jewelry i probably keep on this same lip maybe gloss it up a little bit more but i am just obsessed with this dress it's an amazing quality it feels so good on the on my skin which it feels like makeup when i'm talking about it but it just feels good on my body um it is in a size medium i wanted it to be a little slouched i'm so glad i didn't get a small because it literally fits perfect now if i was going to dress it down i'd probably put on i could dress it down two type of ways i could put it on maybe those Lulu, um, lulu those tory verge sandals again um and just not have on all the jewelry or I could put on maybe some Converse or if you have some Golden Goose. I'm not a big fan of Golden Goose tennis shoes, but that those shoes will look really good with these. Um, or maybe even some Alexander McQueen's will look good with this just to make it a little like more sporty. You can maybe put on a baseball hat, possibly roll the sleeves up, but you could definitely dress this up and dress it down. Like I said, this is my, if it had pockets, girl, if it had pockets, y'all would be able to get me out of this dress. This is by far, like I said, my favorite piece that I got from, I think I got like 10 things from all 10 things that I purchased from Shein. This is definitely giving me like date night vibes. I don't care if my next date night is in Texas, Antarctica, Alaska, Europe, Africa, I don't care. This is what I'm wearing because I'm obsessed with this dress and this whole look put together. Like I think it is so stinking cute. So. 
mother PSA to anybody's son that's watching this, which why would you be? Take me on a date. This is getting very screensaver worthy. You know a pic is good when it's screensaver worthy, okay? Super cute. Okay, so we've got another dress. Can we get some commotion for the dress? <laughs> so this is the drawstring ruched bodycon dress. It was $13 and I got it in a size small. You can loosen and tighten this like snake drawstring however you want and then it just came tied in a little knot at the bottom. I think it is so cute. It accentuates the body, so nice. This is definitely a dress you wear going out with your girls, maybe even to a date, but I definitely wear this to the club. Okay, now we're on to swimsuits. I got two swimsuits. I got a one piece and a two piece. This is the one piece. It's the plunging um, one piece. They have it in different colors, but I really liked this muted blue. What I really love about it is that it doesn't have a thong in the back, even though I do like the 70s, like high-waisted thong bottoms the best on me, but I do like that this one piece isn't cutting in to my butt, and it can be, hopefully you can see, it can cover my, my butt. So in the back, it's family appropriate. The front, not so much. <laughs> I do, I got it in a medium, it was $13, and I do wish I got it in a large, because this part is... I wish it was just like not pulling as much but I'm gonna wear it like it's cute I'll show you like this part wraps around so it goes down the back and then wraps around so it kind of gives you like that extra you know so you'll be nice and cute that's what it looks like and this is what it's giving in the front and I just paired it with this skirt and I just wear like a beach hat and some flip-flops in a beach bag okay and last but not least this is just a plain black swimsuit okay the top looks like this nice and cute nice and simple if you just need something black the bottoms are not my favorite I wish I would have got them a size bigger I got it in a size small and I think it was $12 for the whole thing um, I just have paired it with this cover-up just like the last one and I wish I would have got it in a medium um, and yeah, the bottoms just aren't my favorite. They don't fit the way that I would like for them to. So I have them hiked up, giving me the largest wedgie possible to make them fit better on me. So if you do get this plain black um, bathing suit, and that's just what it says, plain black v-neck swimsuit um, on the website, I would recommend sizing up maybe one or two sizes just so you feel a little bit more comfortable in it. So I hope you like the styles that I came up with. All of the links for the clothes along with the SKU numbers and all the things that you need to know will be down in the description box. If and when you buy these pieces and you style them and you post a picture in them, be sure to tag me so I can repost you girls so I can see how you put it together. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends because we need everybody to see what we got going on, okay? And I'll see you on my next one. Peace. <laughs>